Baraska is presented by Mint Mobile. Don't let big wireless providers scare you into a bad phone plan. Get affordable premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Baraska. Hello, listeners. Be advised that this show is an immersive audio experience. It may seem like sounds are coming from the sides or behind you. Listener discretion is advised, as this content is intended for adult audiences only. Q-Code presents Baraska, starring Cole Sprouse, created by Rebecca Klingel. Well, are you going to fucking open it? Might as well start here. You know the rest. It's hard to describe the sensation of seeing a ghost. It's like free-falling. Like tumbling backwards over a cliff when you didn't know what's behind you. It's hard to catch your breath. Hello, Sam. Are you going to finally introduce yourself to me, honey? My name's Kimber, and I need to borrow your friend. Eric wasn't far off when you described it like a bucket of freezing water over your soul. It was the ice-cold shock, the jolt, the punch of electricity, of life, and it woke me up. It hurt. I've been a passenger for so many years, my body making all my decisions as I wrote out my addiction, seeing nothing out the window as life went by. Suddenly I was at the wheel again. It was terrifying. And it made me angry. What are you doing here? I... Well, um... I'm here for you. Lucky bastard. You shouldn't be here, Kimber. Well, I needed to see you. Whatever you want. I don't have it. I can't help you. Yes, you can't. Did you get my letter? Yeah, I got it. And? Your hair's darker. Did you read the letter, Sam? Yeah. That, that's it? Just, yeah? It's been years, nine years. Just, yeah? Where's the letter, Sam? I, I don't have it anymore. Well, what the fuck? Oh. What do you want me to say? That I object to what they did? That it's disgusting? It's inhumane? It's torture? A little fucking nightmare? Well, yeah, to all that. That place took everything from me, Kimber. Even you. It did! me, Sam. I'm right here, right in front of you. I am still here. I'm not, Kimber. (laughs) So, I'm Eric. Kimber DeStaro, nice to officially meet you, Eric. No, and how do you know our Sam? We, uh, we grew up together. Well, that's cool. Sam and I were cellmates in prison. Eric. I was in for a felony. A computer crimes. Some women find that sexy. Sam was in for... Don't. Something else. Drink. Beautiful. A drink would be most fucking welcome right now. Are you hungry? I can make you a breakfast sandwich. Trust me. They're heavy. Eric, shut up. She's not staying long enough to eat. No, I guess not. But I will take that drink, thank you. Oh, we've got scotch, tequila. I think we've got some girly stuff. Uh, Blueberry hard seltzer. Oh, and raspberry cucumber. Scotch is fine, thank you. Where have you been? Who with? What have you been doing? Did you go to college? When I got your letter, it was postmarked from California, but there was no return address. Sam's drink of choice is also scotch. I'm a tequila man myself. No college, not married. I I thought I had family in Florida, so I went to Miami, but I couldn't find them. Um, And I met another girl who'd aged out of foster care, and we became friends. And we went to California together, but we ran out of money. So I sold your car, and we squatted in an empty house. (laughs) I didn't have any vital documents, not even like a birth certificate. SoCal is a great place for under-the-table work. Here we go. Two scotches. Thank you. 
And yeah, I started working pretty immediately as a hostess under the table, like he said. Zoe moved to Phoenix, but I was able to rent a room for myself, buy a car, live for a while, but there's no escape, is there? No. So I started looking around online. Any information about you or Kyle? I, I found out about Kyle. What's left of him? And then I, I found you. In... Incarcerated. So I waited, and then you got out last year. We. We got out. Now within like two weeks of each other, right? <laughs> what? This conversation doesn't involve you, Tucker. Go to bed. Sam. Trust me, you don't want any of this shit in your head. I've told you before, I already know it all. I, you know, what I haven't pieced together from the many vocal nightmares? I've read in your case files last night. You got in my case files? It's low-level government security. Of course I got in. You didn't have to look for them in the first place. I wanted to help you. Stay out of my head. Out of my files and out of this. I have it your way. I gotta meet up for a raid anyway. <sighs> Kimber, I assume you're staying the night? That's not up to me. Of course it is. No, I'm inviting you. No, if Sam's bathroom is too gross, no, feel free to use mine. I mean, you'll have to walk through my bedroom, but... Uh, she doesn't need to be in your room for any fucking reason. Well, that's up to her, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks. I'll remember your offer if I need a different bathroom. But I'm sure Sam's is fine. Don't commit until you see it. <laughs> Good night, all. Mm. Good night. It's good to see you, though, Sam. I've, I've missed you like crazy. I'm sorry. For... God, for everything. I'm, uh... I'm not the guy you remember these days. Well, that's good, because the guy I remember was 17 and jacked off to World of Warcraft characters. Uh, you knew about that? Yeah, Kyle told me. Kyle knew about that? What an asshole. Mm, is he? He never told anyone or teased you. Well, he told you. Well, he'd never dare keep something that hilarious from me. But Sam, you don't have to apologize for anything. Not to me. You got me out. Kyle got you out. Yeah, and you. It took both of you, and it's kind of why I'm here. You want to go back for the others? Yeah. There were dozens of people who never escaped. Women who didn't have a Sam or a Kyle. I want to help them. Oh. No, really. I've tried, Kimber. When I first left Drisking. Again. A year later. And after that, I tell her story... Hell, I just got finished telling everything to my new parole officer. And I mean everything. It, it, it doesn't make a difference. They don't believe me and they don't care. I imagine it's been the same for you. So what do you, what, what do you really want from me, Kimber? I want those women free. I want everyone in the world to know what those motherfuckers did. I want to go back and expose them in a way no one can deny. I want to stop the suffering and I want my pound of flesh. I deserve it. But I'm realistic. I'm going to try for it all, but if I fail at that, I at least want to take out as many of them as I can. So you're willing to what? Kill somebody? <laughs> yes. And I want you to come with me. <laughs> it's suicide. I'm serious, Sam. So am I. We wouldn't leave that place alive, Kay. We did once. Not all of us. You have to know I'm going with or without- <laughs> You. You're fucking blackmailing me? No, I would never. I'm going back and I thought, I thought. I just thought you'd want to know. So you could decide if you wanted to come with me. No, we're not talking about this tonight. I can't. I, 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 I just, I, I can't, Kimber. Stay the night in my room. 
I'll change the sheets, I'll open the windows, just, just give me a minute. And in the morning? And in, in the morning we'll talk. Talk. Talk is good. I, I do have to get on the road early tomorrow, though. I have to meet with... You're not even um, giving me a day? I was going to give you over a week, but you've been avoiding me since I got to Chicago. And your roommate wouldn't give me your number. <sighs> you got a bag? In my car. Okay. I'm going to make the bed, and then we'll go get your bag. I, uh, I know it's cold in here because of the window, but you can close it when, uh, when smoke dissipates a bit. <clears throat> Sam. If you're still cold, there's a space heater under the bed. It's messy under there. Actually, I'll, I'll grab it for you. I, I can get it. I'm okay. Right. Well, um, bathroom is across the hall. It's not that bad. It's really not. Don't go in Eric's room. I wasn't planning on it. This is great. I, I won't bother Eric. You can stay in here with me, you know. No, it's fine. I'll take the couch. But I mean, there's there's plenty of room with the... I'll take the couch. Okay. Good night. I, I really... I, I really did miss you, Sam. Good night. Over the years, I'd sometimes wondered if Cleary and Prescott were having me watched. Just a fleeting feeling that I'd mostly forgotten by now. I was a small fish, a gnat, really. Not worth the trouble because I was powerless to cause any. But now Kimber was in my house, Kimber. And I started to worry again. Maybe it was best if we left in the morning. If they knew, if they saw her here, they might come for us anyway. The couch was lumpy and bullshit, but I needed to be alone. While I was kicking garbage into my closet, I'd grabbed one of my personal stashes. My nightmares were just below the surface these days. Leah, Kimber, it was all coming back, and I couldn't look at it yet. I didn't want to. I hadn't forgotten enough of that summer. But tomorrow, Kimber was leaving, and I was going with her. I'd never let her go alone, even as worthless of a bodyguard as I was. So tomorrow, we would be leaving Midlothian. But as for where we were going, Jesus, I couldn't help but hope there was room for negotiation. Of course, you know there never is with Kimber. But that wasn't for worrying about now, nothing was. As I floated down the familiar river of dark, dreamless sleep, I was free. Kimber, you want bacon or sausage? Um, I'll take a... Oh, shit. Bake. Sam made all the bacon sandwiches. We've only got sausage. Sausage is fine. Sam? Sausage sandwich? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, so I have so much to tell you. Shit, just like that? Wait, I, I need coffee. No filters, sorry. But there's half an energy drink in here. The sugar-free. What about the others? These are mine. I bought with my hard-earned coin. No, but, uh, I'm a reasonable guy. I'll give you one if you listen to my pitch. Uh. What pitch? I heard you guys last night. Sorry, you guys are loud talkers. When I can help you with your expose everyone plan. Look, I'm good at strategy. The chess champion at Northwestern for five years. Project lead on a $50 million upgrade initiative for Markle Systems. Ahead of my guild in the Age of War for the last 11 months. You can stay. Just stop talking. Really? <laughs> Let me get my laptop. So what's your plan, Kimber? Wait. Wait. I, I don't want to miss anything. I'm coming back. 
Okay. Begin. Don't take any notes. This isn't for notes. It's for research. Okay? What outcome are we looking for? No, and don't bother catching me up. I read all Sam's witness reports. I know everything he does. Not everything. Like I told Sam, I want Drisking's crimes exposed, and I want everyone there freed. And how are we going to do that? I'm only agreeing to this if we find a way to keep you out of prison. Look, agreed, but it's not my first priority. I want those motherfuckers to pay, and I want the trafficking ring destroyed. Agreed. All of them, Sam. If he's... If Graham's involved, he pays. No quarter. But you know they're not going to let us get close enough to get anything on them. You're right. I couldn't even get close. Without help. <laughs> You're definitely overestimating me. I'm not talking about you, Sam. I have a, a contact, a source. I'm supposed to meet with them tomorrow. Who? Who, Kimber? I, I can't tell you yet. Oh, fuck. But I will, I will, Sam. And you trust this source? Of course not. But maybe we can use them. I need to get close enough to take my shot. Christ. So, you're planning to kill someone? Yes, I am. But honestly, if we want to do more than cut the head off a of Hydra, we need the feds. And they've never wanted to listen to me before. I can never get past the initial witness report. It just seems to die. Yeah, I tried to. They met with me, but it didn't go anywhere. We need the DOJ. You know, the DOJ hung up on me. Maybe we need... What you need is a press package. What the hell is that? It's everything the media will need to run the story. Names, dates, payouts, everything. Basically, we need the business records. Don't call it a fucking business. That's what it is. They're highly illegal and fucked up, but it's a business nonetheless. That means accounting files, inventory files, health files, transportation files. All these probably exist on a server somewhere. Yeah, but what if they're paper files? They're not. You guys can trust me, I know this stuff. They're hosted on a private server somewhere. You get those files, you send them to the press, they run the story. The government is forced to do something. No matter how high up the corruption goes, it'll work. I promise you. How do we even find the server? I don't know. That's your job. But if we get those records, you know how to make a press package? Oh, yeah. Now you get me those files. I won't rest until I've decrypted all of them. Maybe the files are at Baraska. They got internet up there? I, I, I don't know. So if we copy the files, you can crack them and send them to the media? Yes, gorgeous. Then you don't have to copy them. You, you can pull the whole hard drive. It's quicker. If they're not up at Baraska, I mean... Where would we even find a server room in Drisking? The businesses, institutions, hell, even private homes. We're not necessarily talking about a whole room here. So it could be anywhere. Maybe not even a Drisking. But if you could find out where it was, that would be something. Maybe I can get in remotely. Or maybe... And at the end of the day, they'll all go down. Every one of those pieces of shit. Yes. When you guys leave, I can start looking around. Or see what I can find online. Thank you. We need all the help we can get, so it, it means a lot, Eric. A, a lot. Hey. Any fam of Sam's is fam of mine. Well, ditto. Are you ready to go? Wait, 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 wait. No, I found another box of breakfast sandwiches. Take them with you. The hotel will have a microwave. It's an eight-hour drive. It'll be fine. It's, it's cold outside. Can I smoke in here? Not yet. We gotta stop at the gas station real quick. Do you even know how to drive in the snow, Miss California? I drove here, didn't I? And back and forth to your apartment from my shitty hotel all week. I'm sorry. You have to know that if I'd known it was it's you... It's okay. I didn't tell Eric who I was because I was afraid that you'd, you know, run from me. Never. Well, that's good to know. Really good to know. I'm gonna fill up the tank. You wanna get some road trip snacks? Don't do that. Don't pretend this is fun. Maybe it is kind of fun. Maybe I like hanging out with you again because it makes me feel normal. Well, that's just sad, Shortcake. Go get snacks! <laughs> hey, 
It's, uh, Sam Walker. Sam! Uh, listen, I've been wanting to call you. I'm still working with Vic, but she's getting a lot of pushback from her superiors, which she said is very weird. But I'm pushing on her and a few contacts at the DOJ. Leah. What? Is everything okay? Uh, I'm not gonna make my appointment this morning. What? Why not? Something's come up. I have to head out of town. Sam, if you leave Illinois, it's a parole violation. I'm not going far, just Missouri. No, I'm sorry. You can't. You know you can't. I have to. Sam. I have to. Someone important needs me. And if you understood my story or understood me like you said you did, then you'll help me. Don't report this, Leah. Hey, buddy, you're up. Shit, I don't know. Hopefully days. Worst case, a week. God damn it, Sam. You better know what you're doing. I'm, uh, working on it. And you'll stay clean? Check in while you're gone? Yeah. I should be back by the new year. You better be. And you'll continue writing your letters? I mean, I still think that's pointless, but yeah. 3258. Are you fucking serious, man? It's chips and jerky. And energy drinks. They're pricey. And so is jerky, by the way, man. It's not pointless. Keep it up. And keep me in the loop. I really hope you know what you're doing, Sam. <laughs> well, it's not my plan. Then whose is it? Kimber's. What? Are you serious? I'll check in in a few days. Later. Can I, uh... Can I also get a card in the Marlboro Silver? You want me pork rinds? Aw, oh, Sam, you remembered. Well, I wasn't sure you could stomach them anymore. We all remember the events of Edible Weekend 2012. Oh, don't be ridiculous. They're pork rinds. And that was a long time ago. It's hardly going to put me off them for life. Cadbury eggs. Oh my god, damn, they've got Christmas themed ones? We've got Christmas themed to everything. Look at my energy drink. <laughs> ah, Jesus, I can't believe you still drink those. Your insides must be raw. Yeah, well, it's not from the drinks. Are you addicted to something? Or is that why you were in prison? <sighs> yeah. Don't they, they test your urine or something since you're out, out on parole? Yeah, they do. But there's a few ways around it. Well, maybe you... I don't want to talk about that. It's me, Sam. You can tell me. You can trust me. <sighs> there's just... There's not much to tell. I couldn't handle anything when I got out of Missouri. I didn't have any money or anywhere to go. I just started selling. And then I didn't see much of a point. Trying to keep on the straight and narrow. So, yeah, that's it. It's my sad story. I'm sorry. Why don't we talk about your murder plan? What's the agenda when we get into town? Are we gonna stay with Kyle's family? Phil Saunders, maybe? I can tell you're trying to piss me off, but no. We're not staying with anyone. I booked a hotel. Well, a motel, really. Dublin on 85? No, the Prince Ridge Inn. That's the hotel I went to when I got run out of town 10 years ago. That's too close to town. That's way too close. We won't even have a day before people know. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Good? What the hell are you talking about? It should be a pretty fucking covert operation. You're already risking your life. And yours. That should tell you how confident I am. In what? In my plan. What, because of your source? Fuck, I need a cigarette. No, wait, that's freezing. Put the window up. I'll be quick. <sighs> what the hell? Come on, who is this source? I can't tell you that. Well, shit, Kimber. I know, I know, but I just, I want to get into town and meet with them first, and then we just... Hell no. And then we just go from there. Go from there? Please tell me this isn't your whole plan. Our contact will give us more direction. Your contact? Do I know this guy? I didn't say it was a guy. How do you even know they're legit? I don't trust a single fucking person living in that entire county. I didn't say I trusted them, but I'm optimistic. This person has told me stuff that can only mean they want what I want. That's enough for me right now. Stuff like what? Like the sheriff's schedule. 
great. We've got my dad's work schedule. That's real incriminating stuff. Why don't you try and pull out of him where the records are? That would actually be fucking helpful. They might not know. And if they find out we're looking for them... Look, I told you, I don't trust this person. Not yet, especially not with us. We don't want anybody to know what we're looking for. Surely you can agree with that. Yeah, I can agree with that. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. It has not been long enough. It has not been long enough. I Ugh. told you. I haven't eaten oh, pork oh, rinds in a decade. Oh, God, even the smell. Get rid of it, Sam. Ugh. Don't litter the bat. Just dump the little bastard. So what else? Um, they told me what sort of weapons the cops are packing. Searchable. And where the top players are living now. Could have found that out ourselves on Facebook. And, well, uh, they told me things about Kyle. I can tell you things about Kyle, too. Kyle's dead. No, he isn't. Oh, yeah. He is. He's a vegetable. He's a husk. Brain dead, Kimber. Maybe he isn't. No? <sighs> Actually, yeah. Because I saw him with my own eyes before I left town. I talked to him, too. He's empty, Kay. There's no one there. If you still haven't warned him after all of this... You're wrong. That's wrong. My source told me he was just... Just... What? Just what? Shy? No, sedated. Sedated with drugs. For nine years? <laughs> right. So he's just telling you what you want to hear. I didn't say he, and I know I'm vulnerable to this shit, but I believe it. I owe it to Kyle to believe it. I get it. No, I do. But I saw what they did to Kyle. They straight up beat the death into him, Kay. The only part of Kyle left on this earth is his lifeless body. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm just... I can't go through this again. We need to know for sure. We need to. It's Kyle. I told you already. It's Kyle, Sam. Oh. I get it now. This little suicide mission isn't actually about getting revenge, is it? Uh-uh. Or now, finding records for Air Express package. Huh? This is some sort of bullshit, ill-conceived rescue mission. Maybe it's both. And what's wrong with that? I want them dead, and I want Kyle back, so what? And why did you get so goddamn mean? So that's your rush then, huh? You got some bad intel that Kyle is alive and you're running off half-cocked to get him? I told you I want my pound of flesh. I especially want to get people out of that hell if I can. And yeah, I want Kyle back, okay? He's my person. So then why don't we just go to his house? Pick him up. We can be back on the road tomorrow morning. I don't know where he is. The Landy's moved him. I can't find out where. Then what the fuck are we doing? If I'm gonna die for this, Kimber, I deserve to know why. Oh, the fuck! What are you doing? Popping the trunk. What are you, planning to storm the Alamo? Does this look like Kyle is all I'm after? I want them all fucking dead. I want Kyle back, yes, but I want more than that, Sam. I want him dead. Cleared. The man who hurt me, he's gonna pay. I have been fantasizing about it for years. It's kept me sane. Relatively. Right. How'd you get all these? There must be 40 guns in here. There's hundreds of rounds. Are those bulletproof vests? I mean, I admit it's a little overkill. I've been driving around gun shows in the Southwest collecting these for years, and yes, I'm proficient in most of them. <laughs> Damn, shortcake. I'll teach you how to use them, too. Okay, well, close the trunk before anyone sees your arsenal. This is Illinois, for fuck's sake. Shit, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. 
Yes, you do. But I... I never should have asked you to come. It wasn't fair. This place is... Like hell. Asked? Manipulated, coerced, blackmailed. Well, I'm actually glad you did. The only thing worse than this plan is you going through with it alone. Come here. Shit. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's just, it's me. I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I'm weird about being touched. Okay. Okay. How about this? You get to pick the music for the next two hours, but no trap music. <laughs> okay, awesome. My friend in L.A. recently put out a demo with his band. Oh, no, no, no. They're a fusion band. Folk, metal, cool, right? And I promised to listen to the whole thing, so... Uh. Okay, my turn. PlayStation or Xbox? I mean, I only got out of prison a year ago, so I have no idea. Probably still Xbox. No, PlayStation has better graphics these days. Who was your first kiss? Shannon Clarkson. Ninth grade. Seriously? I didn't know that. Oh, I liked her. She was in student government, right? Like, VP? Oh, or... shit. I didn't know her whole life, Kay. <laughs> I was drunk on the beach, and she gave me the look. But I barely remembered it. Neither did she. Mm, hard to imagine why, Mr. Darcy. <laughs> Who was your first kiss? Kyle, of course. Phil never even kissed you? Oh, no, I forgot about Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kyle would love that. Who was your first roommate? Mm, guy named Josh Marlowe. Charged me five fifty a month for a 7x7 seven seven closet. <laughs> no wonder you didn't kiss any girls. <laughs> I've had my fair share since then. Sure, Casanova. Now your turn to ask. Mm, oh, who'd you lose your virginity to? Oh, shit. Camber, I... I wasn't there, thinking. There's the border. We're entering Missouri. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, I'm obviously not okay. I've got like three dozen guns in my trunk. <laughs> yeah, well, right at this moment, I wish you had some more. I'm going to cross into Butler County soon. We're going to be okay, Sam. What else have you been doing for the last decade? Have you talked to anyone about it all? Not a therapist, if that's what you're asking. But there was someone, my firearms training coach, Jenna. She was almost like a friend or a mom. I told her like, bits of what happened to me that summer. Not the scale of it, but she knew I'd been abused. And she helped me channel it into hitting targets. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm pretty calm under pressure. No, that's not too hard to believe at all. You're always good on pop exams. You still friends with her? Yeah, kind of. We keep in touch. I actually stayed with her for almost a year. She's good people. But she had a baby and got busy. But she helped me a lot. Well, I'm happy you had someone. Yeah, me too. And you have Eric. <laughs> yeah. I guess I do. Hours in that car. Stacks of hours that felt like nothing as the distance of the years melted away. We talked about movies we'd seen, our favorite beers, people who hurt us, hell, even politics. We could talk about anything. It reminded me of those days in another life when we would just sit in my car in the school parking lot, getting high, listening to music, talking about going to college together. It made me miss my best friends. It made me miss weed, which I'd left at the gate years ago for blacker pastures. But the closer we got to Drisking, the more we turned into our own thoughts. It started to snow, soft and silent. Beautiful, actually, which was bullshit because this was a place of insane suffering. I stared out the window till the dread of familiar things passing by made me look away. We were almost there. There it is. Christ. Yep, 
the only motel off this exit until you get to Drisking. Shit. It's really nice. It's used to be more of a no-tell motel. Used to be. Looks like they've remodeled it. Expensive remodel. Same clientele, though. I'll go check in. Kimber, wait. Should I come with you? No, it's fine. You'll be able to see me all the way to the office and back. Did you at least reserve the room under a different name? I'm not an idiot. I'm checking in as Michelle Foster. It probably won't hide our presence here for long, but hopefully long enough. I hate doing it, though. We're not criminals. No, speak for yourself. Guess they only fixed up the outside. Typical Drisking. Beautiful on the outside, rotten and vile inside. At least it has two beds. I call the one by the door. Why do you get dibs? It's to protect you. Whoever comes in has to go through me first. Anyway, your bed is closer to the heater. Whatever. Oh, don't forget to put Eric's breakfast sandwiches in the freezer. Can't believe you brought those. He gave them to us. He was being nice. Remember nice? Yeah, maybe nice is overrated. You're overrated. Ooh, Sam, they got cave tours at Quillen National Park. And look, horseback riding at Bottom V Ranch. Yeah, no thanks. And nice try, trying to light the mood. Killjoy. Look, river tubing. It's December. ATV rentals. We could use that when we head up to Baraska. Mm. You say that word so casually. Words don't mean shit. And anyway, ATVs won't help. They got any snowmobiles? Okay. What is it? They're offering private... um, Private ATV tours of the Ozarks, including post-war era mines. Okay. Well, we won't be taking that tour. But what if other people do? All we can do is tear out the page. And then, I don't know. Are you hungry? Yeah. So, looks like Fertoli's delivers now. Pasta? No. They've also got salad. Hell no. Find Christians? Doesn't Mike Sutton's family own that place? Yeah. Then no. I'm not eating food Mike touched. You're being difficult. Pizza? Get whatever you want. I'm honestly not that hungry. That's hard to believe. Or maybe it isn't. I'm going out for a smoke. Look at this. I just took my bra off, so this better be good. No, it's not good. Look at that. Through the trees. Can you see it? Across the road? What, what am I looking for? Here, just... Yeah. Yeah, no, it's hard to see because it's covered in snow, but it's right there. Is that... It's a tent, right? Do you see the number? I can't make it out, but... Holy shit, a mile marker? Way out here? Close to the highway. It's cocky. It, it's brazen. It's insane. They're even doing mind tours. They don't even care anymore. What the fuck, Sam? I don't know. Come on, let's go back inside. Wait, what it? Who is that? Who? Guy in the red pickup parked near the office. Is he? Is he staring at us? Yeah, it looks like it. Do we know him? I can't tell. I don't like this shit. Come on, let's go inside. So pay attention to the blonde. She's important later. You said you wouldn't do this. It's not a spoiler. I just want you to pay attention to her so you understand the twist. There's a twist? Damn, Kimber, you are <laughs> always the worst at keeping secrets. <laughs> this isn't a secret. It's like a spoiler. Exactly. So stop spoiling it. 
Honestly, Sam, this movie came out like four years ago and made half a billion dollars or something. How have you not seen it? Because I was inside for most of those years. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting you went to prison. What was that like? No. Hell no. We're not going to talk about that. Let's talk about tomorrow. You've been ignoring that question all day. I know, because I know you're going to bitch about it. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, tomorrow I'm meeting with my contact. Okay. What time and where? 1 p.m. in town, but it's just going to be me, Sam. The hell it is. They want to talk to me first. All of our communication has been over the phone so far, so they want it to be just us the first time. You know, make sure we're both serious. That's even more suspicious. You know that, right? They won't help us if I don't do this. I'm going alone no matter what. I have to. No, you're not. And no, you don't. Are you forgetting what happened to you the last time Kyle and I left you alone in Drisking? You think I could forget? You're acting like it! I'm not an idiot. We're meeting in a public place. Public where... doesn't mean shit in this town. They're all complicit. That doesn't mean they drag me off the street. How do you know? Huh? They're doing private tours in the mines. They're placing mile markers near a major highway. They don't give a fuck anymore. You should. You go alone, you could be walking into a trap. Maybe I am, but it's my decision. I won't let you. You think Kyle would let you do this? He wouldn't have a choice either, and God damn it, it is my decision! It's my decision. I disagree, because it's fucking crazy. That this whole thing is fucking crazy. We're fighting crazy with crazy. And this is my choice. No one's ever going to take a choice away from me again. Got it? Yeah, Kimber, I got it. It's your choice, just like it's my choice to follow you. You you can't. You don't have a car. You haven't seen my record, but you should know that I can hotwire that tourist down there in my sleep. You fucking bastard. If you're there, he won't show up. He won't tell me where their weaknesses are, where the, where the sheriff is, where Kyle is. Sam, you can't come. He. I knew it. And try to stop me then. F- fuck it, fuck it. I can't deal with this right now. Where are you going with that, huh? To brush your teeth? I just need a minute. I know what's in that bag, Sam. Please. I'm begging you, don't do it. I'm here, it's me. Let me help you. Help me what, Kimber? Help you stop. Do you even know what it is I'm doing? Huh? No, but I can guess. I, it can only be a handful of things, please. I, I need you in this with me, Sam. Don't do it. Let me help you. It. It is heroin. If you're going to help me with it, maybe you should start searching. I will. I will, and I'll find out everything there is to know about it. You know I will. It's my way, and and then I can help you get off of it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Enjoy your research. Or maybe I should do some too. Huh? I've got just as much reason to row without oars as you do. Some would say even more. Over my dead body. Oh, that's fine. Won't be long now. Stay inside. Hmm. You learning a lot over there? Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Like the heroin isn't actually making you that much of an asshole. It's just intensifying your already well-established asshole tendencies. Oh, that's not true. Usually I'm an utter delight. I love you, Sam. And I'm scared. Hey. I just got you back. I can't lose you again. Hey, listen. One life or death flight at a time. Okay. Okay. But you promise? We'll fight this next? I researched how to mitigate heroin withdrawals, but it depends on how much you're taking. Like, you might need a doctor to facilitate it. How much do you take a day, Sam? Mm. About 60 bucks worth. How much is that? 
like in grams. Promise me you won't try and go mount me tomorrow. I lost Kyle. Lost him. Killed him. I can't lose you too. Promise. Fine. I promise I won't. As long as you're aware that it's still my decision. I know. I'll text him in the morning and then we'll go from there. Alright. Don't get your hopes up about Kyle, okay? That I can't promise. Can you close the curtains? Oh, it's colder than Santa's nut sack in here. Kimber, can you turn up the heat? Kimber? 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 Oh, no. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Panic is a strange thing. It's not quite the same as fear. It's more urgent, more active. Fear is what you feel when something could happen or is about to happen. Panic is when it's already happening. And I was in a full fucking panic because it had happened. No, no, no. It was 7.51 a.m. when I woke up and Kimber was missing from her bed. The heater was off. The blinds were open, the window was open, wide fucking open. Her phone, here. Her car was still here. Someone had crawled right over me to get to her, and then right back over me to get out. So much for my protective instincts. Kimber! I was impotent, ineffective. I didn't wake up because of the very thing Kimber was worried would kill me. And now it might have killed her. Fuck! But maybe worst of all was the newspaper I found sitting outside our motel room door. The local paper at the Drisking Press. I hadn't seen it in years. And in big, black fucking letters that dominated the rest of the small print, the front page simply said, Welcome home. It was bold, it was brazen, it was deafening. Hey, excuse me. And I couldn't help but feel like it was meant for me. Did you see, uh, our redhead? Pink, pink hair, uh, and short. She might have, somebody might have been with her. I didn't know who had her. I didn't know if it was her source, hell. I didn't even know who her source was. I didn't have jack shit. Just regret. Three grams of heroin and breakfast sandwiches. Cold comfort to a man who'd lost everything else. Kimber! Kimber! Or in my case, lost everything. Again. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm writing you these letters. Leah said it would help, but you're not exactly around to read them, are you? Maybe that's better, though. You'd be disgusted with me. Disappointed. Pissed. I didn't actually know how to hotwire a car. It doesn't take skills like that to hype clubs and sell H in the city. I had no skills, really. Nothing that would help Kimber or you or anyone. Fuck! You're dead now. And maybe so is she. But one thing's for sure. I don't intend on leaving Drisking. And I've got a trunk full of guns to help me keep that promise. Baraska stars Cole Sprouse as Sam Walker. Sarah Yarkin as Kimber DeStaro. Bo Knapp as Eric Tucker. Megan Gallagher as Leah Dixon. With additional performances by Winston Story and Angelo Diona. Written and created by Rebecca Klingel. Directed by Kristen Burke. Executive produced by Cole Sprouse, Rebecca Klingel, Rob Herding, 
David Henning, Sandra Yiling, and Michelle Zarati. Co-executive producer, Shin Yin Hiyu. Produced by Brandon Wisner. Original score and composition by Darren Johnson. Additional music by Brian Kessley. Music editor Brian Kessley and David Tadashore. Audio engineering by Ryan Walsh, David Tadashore, and Gabe Birch. Edited by Neely Oftering. Additional editor Christoph Klasse. Sound design by Christoph Klasse. Mixed by Ben Milchev. Additional mixer Sarah Ma. Casting director Meg Mormon. And Sunday Bowling. Assistant director Kelsey Adams. Script supervisor Omar Barahona. Production coordinator Tom Breck. Head production assistant Nathan Yan. Production assistant Alex Buda. Post coordinator Emma Jacobson. Production legal Christina Bulbrook and Lindsay Keel. Production accounting Pin Chen Liu. Special thanks to Mara Schuster Lefkowitz and Lacey Buchanan. This podcast was recorded under a SAG AFRA collective bargaining agreement. Baraska is a Q Code production. Sound recording copyright 2022 by Q Code Media Inc. Baraska is presented by Mint Mobile. Don't let big wireless providers scare you into a bad phone plan. Get affordable premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Baraska.